What's up YouTube fam? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be going over some basic retail real estate terms that you should know. This will help you if you're looking to buy a house, if you're looking to sell your house, um, or if you're a realtor just starting out. These are just basic terms that you should know uh, for yourself. So one of the things I wanted to talk about first is um, the type of loans that you can get. So typically you can get an FHA loan, conventional loan, or a VA loan are the most common types of loans. And so with a FHA loan, typically you get that if you're a first time home buyer um, and the lowest down payment that you could put is three and a half percent. So this is how me and my husband actually bought our uh, fourplex. We bought it with an FHA loan and only had to put three and a half percent down. So it's a great way to start in the house hacking life, I guess, uh, buying a multifamily and just buying it with an FHA loan if you're a first time home buyer. So definitely utilize that. Second type of loan is conventional. Conventional loan has less uh, requirements, less restrictions than an FHA. Um, and so typically, uh, if you're buying a home that's completely remodeled, typically like a fix and flipper did it, they are going to prefer you if you have a conventional loan, cause it's just gonna be a lot easier to get to closing than it would be with an FHA loan. They have a lot more requirements. The last uh, loan typically is a VA loan, a veteran's loan. And if you're a veteran, you should definitely be utilizing this because you just have to, you put 0% down. I mean, you, they're giving you free money just to own real estate, you know, in the United States. So definitely utilize that if you're a veteran. And all these ways are, all these types of loans are called financing, right? You are, the, the bank is financing you, giving you money, funding you so that you can actually buy a property and in return you pay them back. There are different ways to get financing. The bank is not the only way that you can get financing, but that's just something to note um, for future videos coming up, okay? And then another thing I wanted to talk to you about is equity and appreciation. So some people get a little confused with this, but appreciation to give you an idea. If there was like a graph here, my husband pulls it up. If you put uh, here the amount of years that you own the property and the price typically when you are in a appreciating market that means that over time your the price of your house will go up you've done absolutely nothing to the house you haven't remodeled it you all you've done is pay your mortgage but over time the price of your house if you were to sell it on the market with a realtor um, it would sell for higher and higher every single year here in Naples, Florida, where I live, uh, definitely it is an appreciating market. If you bought a house here back in 2015, you may have bought it for $150,000 and now here in 2020, you may be able to sell it for double that at $300,000. So that takes me to my next term, which is equity. Equity is like fake money. Oh my God, wow. <laughs> is one of the ways that I've heard it. Um, you know, basically described. And what I wanna say with that is, equity is money if you actually use it. If, if you bought your home for $150,000 five years ago, and now you can sell it for $300,000, the equity that you have in your home is the difference between your mortgage balance and what you can actually sell it for on the market. So in that example, it would be $150,000. But you're not making that $150,000 unless you actually sell your property, or you refinance and cash out. You can take money out of your actual loan when you refinance it out um, and bank on that $150,000. So just a note there. Another thing that I wanted to take into consideration um, was kind of everything that has to do with closing. So when you are going to close on your first house, second house, or just a primary house where you live, uh, or rental property, uh, typically there are a few terms that are very common amongst all title companies, which would be your deposit. You're always gonna have to put a deposit down to show that you know you that you have some skin in the game. You want to start the the transaction, right? Um, there is also something called a HUD statement or a closing statement, which when you close on the property, you will you will see it basically summarizes all the fees of what the seller is going to make 
in the transaction, what fees come out of the seller, and what the buyer is going to pay, and all the fees that come with that. So typically some of those fees are closing costs, which if you are selling your house, take into consideration, you are the one paying for the realtor. You're paying 6%. For that realtor, um, the, buy the buyer is not paying for the realtor, only the sellers are. And um, you, can, you also may be paying for closing costs um, if, if you want to towards the, the buyer, but you will also have closing costs for yourself. So that's something to take into consideration. Typically closing costs are anywhere around 3%. Um, so that, you know, if you have a house for $100,000 that you're selling, that's $9,000. So 6% for the two realtors typically and 3% for closing costs. So something to take into consideration if you are selling your home. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is if you're buying your house with a mortgage, they'll typically give you something called an amortization schedule. Now, if I pronounce that wrong, forgive me but basically what it means is how much your mortgage payment is basically reducing the principal on your loan how much you're paying in interest it specifies all that and it will ex explain it over you know a certain amount of time in year 15 you know where you would be if you continue paying your mortgage payments and things like that it's just showing how much is left on your loan how much is left on the principal and then the interest so that's what amortization schedule is typically means okay so i hope you guys learned something from this video again these are this is just the first part of a three-part series um but if you guys want to get financing if you guys are looking to buy a house you guys are looking to get a loan whether it's fha conventional or a va loan click the link in the bio we have something for you so you can get more information on that and obviously com comment below tell us what else you guys are looking to see but again this is a first part in a three-part series of just terms on real estate this is the retail kind of side of it but i'm going to be talking about the wholesaling side of it and also uh, the creative financing side of it all right guys well if you got some value out of this video subscribe to my channel we're going to be getting more videos out for you hopefully bringing value to you like this video if you got something out of it and always comment below tell me what else you guys are looking to see all right until the next video guys Cut.